Good evening everyone, it's Sheila here in Boho Daydreams and welcome to my channel. I'm here with the little Amelia, that, uh, which is a kit that we released in our Etsy shop some time ago. And she's so cute. This is the little Amelia that I made um, a while ago and did a video on her and then decided that I would do a little Boho Amelia and do a tutorial for her. So that's what I did today. I did a little boho tutorial on Amelia that um, my camera only picked up half of what I was doing and I didn't really notice um, what was going on until I was, well, a little further along into the little journal than um, I had was happy with. So what I'm going to do is show you and just verbally go over what I did with her. She does, she's not bound and she doesn't have a closure yet. So that I'm going to do a tutorial on. Um, so this is the little Amelia and all I used in her was um, some lace. I just grabbed some um, old antique lace that I had. I used some of my trims, some of the new trims. I did it in a um, red red to orange um, palette, color palette, um, kind of like the color palette that the Fire and Sunshine had. I used some of this. I used, the, I didn't use this, but I used the um, fabric from this. I used some of this trim. So pretty. And I also used some of the washi tape that I had created from my um, antique um, wallpaper. And I just love it. And it just blended so well together. I used these glues. I love the Fabri-Tac. And this is really nice too. It doesn't, um, it dries very clear. And then I just used... Um, uh, glue stick. I have a couple of them laying around here, so I don't know if I use that one or the other one. I also use some of this, um, some foil flakes, and let's see what else did I use. I used some walnut stain distress ink, and I used my blending brushes. I love these. They work so well. So I used what was in the kit and there's only one page in here that doesn't come from the kit because for one reason or another I couldn't find it and I didn't want to quickly run inside and reprint that page so I just grabbed another piece of music paper. So the envelope I added some of that gold foil and the stamp and then I used these stamps um, and I use those to cancel the stamp etc there's some more of our washi tape and this is available in our Etsy shop um, for download to make your own and this just came from one of the pages one of the headers and I just used that I had I had an envelope that I had um, typed an address on and for one reason or another I'm not going to say, but it's a little bit messy in here. I couldn't find it, so I created another envelope. And I used my new calligraphy pen um, that I had received for Christmas from Randy. And it just didn't look very good. So I decided I would just um, put some other beautiful writing on it. And then I added some of the washi tape that I had created. And so inside... I'm just going to go page by page here. So then the little Amelia, I just took her and stuck her in with some washi tape and just did a little collage here. Um, all the pages may or may not have some of the gold foil that you can see. And I just kind of distressed her up and then I just layered a few pieces of um, uh, textile and then glued a button on. And this is just a, a tool and this is the uh, fabric that's around this here. Just that light, airy fabric. 
And then there was a little bit of the gold netting that I had used in my bundles, I don't know, a year ago, which is all gone. Then the, I left this play, page empty because the beautiful script on it. So I just didn't want to disturb that. So I just left it. I had torn the edge and just, just left it. This page here, this is the envelope. Um, I just tore up one of the pages that was in there and glued it on, added some lace, and then used some of the um, trim. Oh, I used the mirrored trim also in here. And it just kind of blends well. I left the lace hang over so that you can see the lace um, hanging underneath the uh, journal, at the bottom of the journal. Oh, I love this page. I love this page. Um, this is the envelope on the inside. And you see the gold flake again. And I just took another piece of one of the pages and I just glued it in. And I glued it over into the other side of the page. And then I just glued glued down some... Um, lace and added a button and then I, I found one of my slides. I have a ton of these. Um, they're old slides. I don't even know where I got them from but I have about 600 of them and they're from, from New Zealand. They're pictures of New Zealand. So I just took out the photograph which easily comes out and just put it over top. I distressed it a bit, put it over top. It looks It looks lovely. I just love it. Love it. Love it. So this is another one of the pages in the in the kit and I just glued a piece of page on and distressed it, added a little bit of the washi tape and then this is just one of the um, pieces from the uh, kit and I just glued it down. I'm just kind of, it's very relaxing to the eyes I think. I love it. This is one of the documents that I took some of the Tim Holtz. It's a Tim Holtz, um, uh, those tissue papers. And I just decoupaged it down with a glue stick. I wanted this. I wanted that to show. So I decoupaged it down and then just cut it out. Added a little bit more gold down here. And then added a little piece of, of um, the, the, the trim. And it just kind of blended nicely, especially with that. It's just so pretty. And this side here, um, again, just use scraps of paper. And this is this is the stamp from what page? This page right here. I tore one of these apart. I just cut this out. You'll see this and this and this. You'll see it all throughout the journal. Um, and I just used it as um, interesting points of of vision. Oops. So that's what I did here. And then I just added a piece of, of bling. And this is self-explanatory. And I left it so that you can see it from the other side. I love it. This here is also, here's some of our washi tape. And it's a pocket. This is a pocket. And this is just a piece of uh, the kit. I just ripped it up. Everything, I'm not going to explain that anymore. Um, because unless it's not a part of the kit, I'll let you know. And then I just glued on a piece of this beautiful, beautiful trim. I just love that trim. That's going to be in a kit coming up here soon. And this here is a really hard piece of paper. Um, and it's, I think, a hand-created paper um, that I found in a thrift shop. And it's really hard. It's really hard. And I just glued down the roses in the kit, a little bit of gold, and then I had a piece of corrugated cardboard, and I just um, added that for interest and um, kind of hangs over the edge of the journal, makes it look interesting. And I also did the same here, just kind of layered some, some papers. And here too, just layered them on a little piece of the, uh, the uh, corrugated cardboard. And it's just a place where you can add a picture, write a note, um, stick something on, whatever you want. The center is the, the check. It's the check. And we folded it and distressed it 
and added some color for interest and just collaged bits and pieces of paper over top of that. And this side too, this is um, a piece of the kit. It's a piece of the ephemera. And there's the washi tape that I created. And some of this is this is the music paper that isn't part of the kit, um, simply because I was uh, already out here working and didn't want to run inside to print one paper. And then I just used a Tim Holtz nib um, on top of the lace. And this is a tuck spot, and I just tore out the the coins that are on the one one um, advertisement and just glued it all down. It's a very simple page. Give the eyes a rest. Oh, I love this one. Again, just the same textile that I had used previous with um, one of the new trims that I got. I just, I love that trim. And then more of the same lace, keeping things kind of cohesive. Here's, here's the piece from that um, bank check that I said, you know, you'll see pieces of it. Just added a bit of our washi tape and more of the wallpaper washi tape. And this is just a little pocket. And I wrapped the washi around because it was a little bit long. Um, and it just gives it a nice, uh, nice layering. I love this. I love this fabric. I only have a little bit of that. Uh, this is one of the new trims. And I just collaged down a bunch of different pieces that I uh, tore from the kit. And then I added the fabric and glued it to the, the little um, trim. And it looks so cute. I love, I love that fabric. Added a stamp, a little bit of gold flake. Oh, I love this. I love this. I love this trim. It's so pretty. And this is just a fabric from from the the previous package too and I just actually what I did there to give it stability is I glued it onto another piece of paper first and then I glued it to this piece of paper so that it would have just a little bit more stability on on the edge of the paper just gold flake that up a bit other side of the envelope I just allowed it to uh, flow over into the next page. Um, there was already some washi tape there from um, previously and then I just glued on the um, one of the little quotes that's in the kit. And this is just simple. Added some washi tape, the colored washi tape, um, the kit washi tape, and then just a little header for notes. And this is the end envelope. And I just added some of the bits and pieces of paper that I had left over and a piece of the textile and some of the trim. Oh, here's another trim that I had added. So pretty. I love this trim too. This is a trim that you can actually cut out the individual pieces and just glue on a beautiful sequin flower. The back hasn't been done yet because I need to work on the closure. Here's a piece of ephemera that Sally had created um, when she was over one of the days. Let's see. And this is just part of the kit that she we made, made an extra sheet and decided to, to rip it in half and burn it. And so while Sally was burning it, she almost caught my cilia on fire um, with her, with, with how she was burning the edges. It just everything was going up in smoke. And then she stamped a uh, wax seal on the back. And that is going to go into the end of the, uh, the journal. So that's that. So the next step is to make the closure, to bind it and make the closure. So for, let me just close this off. So my closure is going to look a little like this. So I have the corrugated cardboard and I took and uh, gold flaked it a bit. And it'll sit like that and I think I'm going to add this trim underneath 
and this will go, this is going to wrap around. And when you measure how much lace you're going to need, you're going to need to measure after your journal is full, after you've completed the journal, so that you don't cut yourself short on the lace. And it'll wrap around like this. I haven't completely um, figured out what I'm going to do, but this is going to go on here like that. Except it's going to go on the other side of it. It'll wrap around like this. Like that maybe, I'm not quite sure. Something like that. Um, and I'm not sure yet if I'm going to hang a boho bead off of this or not. I might. Uh, just all depends. I love, love, love this trim. And it just kind of coordinates so well with the rest of it. I'm not sure. I may uh, make this journal available if somebody would like it. Um, I have a couple others that um, will be also be completed. And then we're going to move on to another project, um, I think. Anyway, thank you so much. I'm going to be back um, in a couple of days to do the binding and to finish up the, uh, the closure. I think she's so cute. Oh, I just love her. I love her so much. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Bye.